Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish, and I'm here today to review the SPY. Why? Because it had a bullish gap up. A bullish gap up, you could be long in right now. You had to wait a little bit. We pulled back slightly, but we're about ready to take off. I mean, you, you really should be ready to be long this if you're in it. I am not in this because I don't like to trade late, but this is a nice setup here in the 15-minute chart. And it's going to get up over 210. And once we get up over 210, it's 210.50, 211. Really, 211 is a target area. Here we go, over 210. This is a nice rally here in the market. So this, the news that's happening right now in Europe is affecting the market. And it had a positive effect on the market this morning because we gapped up. We closed actually red yesterday at 208.10. And we opened this morning at 209.81. So that was very bullish. This follow through here now holding on the live day here at 11 o'clock, which is late, but we're holding the gap, is bullish. I We could power trend all day up in here now. We could even follow through green tomorrow in the market. So target really today is 211, right up in here. And we very well could get there, I just don't know the time. So it's, you, you, we're gonna see volatility today and tomorrow in the markets because of what's happening uh, over in Europe. And, and you have to watch the news. And if you're in overnights, you've got to watch them. Again, I only like to do the day trading mostly, but this is something where you you could get a lift if it goes in your direction here in longs, but will it? You don't know. This We got it this morning. Uh, if you were up good positive longs or in the market long, you got the lift this morning. Tomorrow though, by the time the market opens at 9.30, we'll have to check to see what time the vote is actually. I have to check to see when the vote is. It'll be interesting to see how this affects the market and the gap tomorrow. But Either way, I think it's, you're going to have some volatility today and tomorrow. So look for a follow through here in the gap today. Nice move up, holding solidly. It's a late hold, but it's still doing it. We got to get aggressively over 210. I don't think we really did yet. No, we didn't, but we should in here. And the market looks strong. I've been predicting the market to make a brand new all-time high this year. We could do it by the end of the month. We're not that far away. 213.75 uh, ish was the last area. So we're like three dollars and. 75 cents away so we're not that far away and literally that could happen in two or three days it could happen in a week it'll be very interesting to see what happens and it's even more interesting that it could happen as a result of, of of news that's affecting the u.s market around the world and this is what i was talking about earlier how we're all interconnected we're all so interconnected what happens in one country happens and affects another country and especially the market so it's it's exciting we'll see what happens and I did make the prediction that the market would make it over the high. And we'll see if it happens in the next two weeks. Have a great day, everyone. Email me at melissathestockswish.com if you would like more information on the Golden Gap class. It's this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, June 25th and 26th. And this is the last class uh, before the third quarter earnings season starts. It should be a great time to trade gaps and make money. Have a great day, everyone.